Hello from Michigan. So everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a pizza cheeseburger. But it's not going to be your normal pepperoni and just cheese. So uh, let's get started and I'll show you the, all the toppings and all the other stuff I'm going to put actually on the burger itself. So let's get started. Here's all the ingredients. I know there's like a lot here. Well, minus the energy drink. I'm bringing in one of those. I don't know where to start. I guess using the brioche bun. Yeah, a whole pack of that. I do have a cookie sheet, but I'm gonna do that for the bread and all that. There's ham, black forest, got provolone cheese, it's actually smoked. Got pepperoni, got mozzarella, bacon that I made the other day ago. And so use use that. Got some mushroom, some salt pepper, got some margarine, got some real garlic. I'll make like a garlic butter for the pizza. Black olives, my favorite pizza sauce. And I'm still using these uh, hamburger patties. The, the 75 lean and 25% fat. I got two of those left. I had to cook these up today. Like to, Today's like the last day on them. So I'll put that there. So uh, I guess to start out with the bread. And get that going. All right, uh, I guess first I'm gonna make a, a garlic butter. So I'm gonna make like a garlic bread, almost. I don't know, just use a little bit of margarine. It's been sitting out for a little bit to so get room temperature. I don't know if I don't need much. Probably like a tablespoon or so. That's probably a little bit. There you go. Do you have a fork? I'm using uh, some real garlic mashed up. Anymore. Not murdering this out. But uh, was it like one teaspoon is one medium garlic? That's what it's a clover garlic. It's probably one clover garlic, probably. Oh. This garlic's awesome. If you ever get the stuff in the tube, especially when you're making uh, garlic toast and bread. I'm gonna get parsley. I got a little bit of parsley I'm going to add. So. <clears throat> I'm going to taste it. Mm. Now yeah, it's going to add. Actually, I mean, I might need a little bit more garlic. I'm just gonna add this a little bit. A little bit. I'm gonna mix that this part together. Here you go, there you go. Oh, that's a false over. Here's a garlic butter. I better close up a shot of it so you can actually see it. Can't really tell. There's a little bit of parsley in there. That, take your bread. Try to make this video pretty quick. Let's get the bread out earlier. My cookie sheet, put one of those on there. Open this up, it actually fits. Take the garlic, butter, spread. I could have got a spoon. I do got a knife. Well, knife doesn't matter. Spoon, knife doesn't matter. I'm just going to spread this out here. And. Using a knife. That's better, probably. 
We just want to put a decent amount of uh, uh, garlic butter that I made. Probably going to throw these in the oven so the way the butter actually melts into the bread first before I actually make the the pizza part. I'm going to put the pizza sauce and toppings. So I, want, I want the garlic to actually get into the bread. And the same thing with the, like the butter. The oven is uh, preheated at 400 degrees. So I want to make sure there's plenty of uh, butter garlic on this. <clears throat> Yeah, it spins. I'm gonna get a little bit extra. Not worth saving. And so I'll just. All right, I'm gonna throw this in the oven to melt the the butter into the bread. I'm not gonna cook it that long, just enough where it melts. And I'll, I'll show you when it's da, done melting. And then we'll get to the the other toppings that I got there to put on it to actually make it a pizza. So oven for no more than five minutes. Not looking to toast it and just melting the butter. It's got an oven. Uh, the butter and stuff is melted into the bread. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. So the butter actually soaks into the bread. I wanna make sure the actual garlic butter went into the bread instead of just sitting on top and then putting the uh, pizza sauce on top. So basically what I'm going to do is make the pizza on both sides of the bread. So you can use whatever pizza sauce you want. This is the brand I'm using. My favorite brand. It's like $1.19 at the grocery store. So basically I'm just going to dress these up as pizzas. With a pizza sauce on both sides. I'll spread this around. Say so be careful the pan is hot because it just came out of the hot oven. And uh, I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna be using it for like pizza for like tomorrow or something. That's for, that, that's for another video. Just cool down enough. Yeah, cool down enough. Actually. I got some uh, solid dust or aka uh, Parmesan cheese. That's how I always dress my pizza, minus the uh, actual pizza. Uh, I don't know what you would call it. Yeah, I don't usually don't put the garlic butter sauce on the pizza, but I always put Parmesan cheese on there for extra flavor. You take your uh, favorite pep. You can take your favorite uh, mozzarella cheese. And this has been open, so I'm checking for mold. Make sure it's not gone bad. It still smells good. I don't open that a couple of days ago, but you never know. Opened up cheese one time, and you think it's fine on the top, and then there's like stuff at the bottom. So. Mozzarella cheese. make this extra cheesy so you got provolone cheese but I'd probably melt that on the actual cheeseburger itself though not an actual pizza this extra cheesy get all the final cheese uh, I don't want to put too much cheese on it but Tastes pretty good. Got okay, uh, some bacon that I cooked a while ago in my uh, blue cheeseburger video. You guys seen that? So, it's, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of bacon on here. Probably gonna use probably one slice per uh, pizza. I guess you would call it. I guess I don't know. Get 
enough bacon. Have another slice. And I'll break this one up. Then this one. Try to get as many toppings on this pizza as, as possible. That's it. I saved all the other bacon for other recipes that I got going on that I had planned. Get it off to the side. And I probably won't get to the mushrooms. Probably just gonna be like a meat pizza. So no mushrooms today. There's not really that much room on the pizza. So put that back in the fridge. So we got pepperoni. I'm not gonna slice these up. I'm just gonna take a couple, like two, uh, one olive for each pizza, and I'm just gonna break this up into little pieces. Set that down for the other pizza. So I'll put a little bit of vegetables on it. You know, it's not really a. I think olives is a fruit. I do believe. I'm not really sure on that one. I don't know if it's a fruit vegetable. You can make this spicy by adding hot peppers or whatever to it if you want to. Pretty much put whatever you want on toppings. Yeah, I'm carried away with the toppings probably. Oh, let's see, where's my ham at? And I'm probably gonna take one slice of ham and then uh, one ham slice out. Now I need like one one ham slice. And I'll split it between the two pieces of pizza. I guess if I could have did like pepperoni and ham on one side or something, and then there's one slice. Uh, is that two slices? Nope, I only want one. Well, there's technically two here, but it's like a weird. It sounds like a chunk missing out of it. it's kind of weird I'll, end, I'll eat that but so i'm going to fold this in half fold it again and try to break it in the middle so we can get even pieces that's close enough just break random pieces and put it on the pizza and i guess whatever doesn't fit you can eat it Nom nom. it's pretty good Hopefully I got enough for tomorrow. And plus make this video. I'm gonna grab like eight slices, four for each side. Yeah. Put it on there. There you go, four slices. Four slices on here. And there's two there. Uh, I gotta save the pepperoni for a pizza video. I can't use all of it. So there's there. These are done. I'm gonna get a better close up shot for you guys so you can actually see it. So I'm gonna throw these in the oven. Uh, probably 400 degrees until it's done. Until the cheese is melted, pepperoni is cooked. That's pretty much all you gotta do. I'm not gonna show you guys uh, throwing in the oven. My camera's charging. I forgot the charger from making other videos and stuff. So those in the oven, uh, cook time, no more than probably 15 minutes, I would say. Just gotta keep eye on it. Make sure you don't burn it and make sure the cheese melts and all that. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. And then when this is actually in the oven baking, we're gonna be frying up the uh, hamburger patty too. All right, guys, same patties, paper plate. I'm going to do a sniff test make sure this is still good. Don't smell rotten, don't smell sour. So I'm going to go ahead. I am going to cook both of them. I don't know if I'll make... Uh... I'm 
both videos or whatever today, but I'm, I need to cook the hamburger patty regardless. So I'm set off to the side. Get some fresh black pepper. I'm gonna wash my hands actually anyway. Cause... All right, got your uh, black pepper, and this has white pepper on it too. So I'm seasoning up both sides. salt whatever let's use a uh, butter fork flip it over I don't want to touch the yeah, oven is preheated more black pepper Shake this around and get the coating, the rest of the pepper and salt on the plate. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did last burger that I did. I'm gonna like uh, thin the patty out a little bit because it is on the thick side, and plus it don't fit the hamburger patty all that well because it shrinks. Let's move it over. Trying to preheat the pan, get that nice and hot. Like I said, the oven's on because I got the pizza in there. So it's time to get the hamburger patty in the pan. My sear. And use that. And I'm throwing throw away my paper plate because I can't use it for anything else. So much all I'm going to do is cook this uh, hamburger patty up. And zoom in so you actually see it better. All right, the pizza's done. You can see the cheese is melted. Pepperoni, like, curled up. I'll probably nice and hot. That looks pretty good. Everything should stay. Then I'm going to let that cool off. So that's what it looks like. Still waiting for the burger to be uh, finished cooking. Have that covered up in the pan. I cut down on grease splatter, but it doesn't always work. So I'm still cooking that, and I'm going to be putting cheese on it pretty soon. And the garlic butter. So that's all I got left to do, so I'll be back. I'll show you like literally me putting the burger uh putting the burger together and sauce it up and plate it up i do want some of the grease out of here too because i'm putting that garlic butter in here i don't want too much uh liquid in the pan too much I know getting grease out of the pan won't make your burger dry once the fat's out the burger that's it I ain't going back in there so time for the butter I'm gonna scrape whatever's here and put it on top of the burger it's the same butter that I use for the bread. So might as well use it up for the actual burger itself. With garlic, margarine, and whatever so you saw how I actually made it. Oh, it smells pretty good. Put this butter around. <clears throat> Make sure it's nice and coated with the garlic. Move it around so it gets the garlic all over the place. All right, now it's time for the provolone cheese. You say smoked provolone, naturally smoked. 
but uh, I don't have like the smoky edges or anything on it. It's just a normal slice. So I'm gonna throw that on there and melt it. All right, heat off the burn, the burner. These are nice and melted. Pan should have cooled off for the pizza. Try to get that in the shop. Now you figure out what one's the top and bottom. So I rotate this around. This is the bottom bun. I'm gonna actually show you guys the bottom one. The camera a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take the burger. Should be nice and done. Get the cheese. Make sure you get all the cheese out of the pan here. So you take your uh, melted cheeseburger. Actually, I'm gonna use the tongs to help me get this like, in the center here. Oh, pan wants to move. Side. So there, there you go. There's the pretty much finished product. I'm gonna get it in better lighting, and I am gonna plate it up too. So I'm just gonna transfer the the burger into the plate here, front and center. Bread's nice and toasted. I'm gonna take a little bit of extra pizza sauce. Put pizza sauce on it, not too much. It's a little drizzle here and there. It's probably good enough. Need something to spread it around a little bit. Now there's two options to finish this burger. Some places online, like Instagram and all that. Zoom in a little bit. And take your top bun. You can either, uh, you take your top bun and then set it like that. But honestly, there's no way really to pick up the burger and have the pizza toppings and all that. So. a better shot you know try to get a thumbnail maybe this way try different angles of it I mean, I'm just gonna make it the just buy a good thumbnail maybe make it different ones so basically what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna flip this over carefully make sure the stuff don't fall over because I'm gonna eat it like a regular burger better close-up looks pretty awesome looks pretty good too I will cut it in half pizza burger I got my thumbnail I don't know looks pretty good a lot of toppings all right I got my knife I'm gonna cut it in half for knife that should be that's come out toasted a little bit so I'll cut this in half you guys can get a cross section. Be careful, I don't want to mess my. A lot of. Look at all that sauce and knife and the burnt side off. Uh, probably not going to get a cheese pull or anything. The knife is nice and sharp. I have to use a spatula. Not really a cheese pull. Or a little bit of cheese pull on it. In the middle of it. I can't hold it up to show you. I better cut in half. I get a close-up shot inside of the burger. Ooh, it is nice and hot still. All right, I need the stance going because I don't want to get stuff on my shirt. I end up dropping this, dripping sauce on this, uh, whatever, but looks pretty good. So let's give this pizza uh, burger a try, see if it's actually any good or not because first time me actually making it. Maybe there's plenty of cheese and sauce. And sauce all over the place. I had a feeling they end up dripping sauce. So uh, I guess big bite. Hmm. Wow. That's awesome. And I got pizza sauce on me. That definitely tastes like a pizza. You got your beef, 
with your all uh, your pizza toppings, plenty of cheese, plenty of sauce. I'm gonna set this down because I don't want to get sauce on the floor. And I'm gonna wash up because they got pizza sauce all over the place. I give it a thumbs up burger. It does definitely taste like a pizza. Maybe pizza sauce on there. Maybe both cheese, mozzarella, and gar garlic bread. A little bit of garlic. That's pretty good. This burger is outstanding. I do recommend it. Gotta say it tastes good because I made it. So we have all the ingredients. You make it at home, same way I did. Still kind of a messy burger. So make sure you got plenty of napkins or paper towels. And uh, I don't know what else. I guess you could have like a side salad with this pizza. So I'm gonna join my uh, dinner with pizza. Plus I got some other. Uh, Another cooking video I gotta make anyway. I make I got I have to. Today's like literally the last day on this hamburger patty stuff, so I gotta hurry up and make that. So you guys you can stay tuned for another cheeseburger video sometime in the future. Right now I got pie pizza sauce all over my hand, all over my hands and face and whatever. But if you enjoy this video, get a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe button for more videos, hit the notification bell, ring ding ding ding. Yeah, thanks for watching, and peace out. And. uh